till 2008 it was been it was uh, 68.4 uh, billion in 2011 right. and as per market value uh, in 2017 it will be 158.2 billion right. so you told that it is uh, usually increasing so rapidly it, it, is rapidly. Rapidly. Yeah. it is rapidly increasing but in other sectors like itc banking automobile mm -hmm. uh, in these sectors it will uh, you don't know that in single it almost, comes almost most of the it how it is growing you nowadays the saturation is there it's even it depends only really on the US market how the US market if there is a recession in US entire impact comes in IT segment here okay we have to depend in only US market whereas in healthcare segment you don't have to depend on other market your market is enough the way the population is growing the way the disease part are growing the way the pharmaceutical companies are coming up and the government policies are now very friendly and the thing is that all labor cost one India is having advantage is over China now, if you take the Eastern I mean, so emerging market, emerging market is being considered as uh, this Asia Pacific countries apart. So where in Asia Pacific countries, China also comes. But sir, um, but uh, according to uh, scenario of Indian scenario, uh, we all see that all uh, all are all goes to banking sector. Uh, all get, uh, goes to banking as as per uh, Hindustan Unilever FMCG, but all, but never but never goes to this healthcare. Yes. Why? The reason is it has not been exposed or uh, there is a reluctance means the way now I got the opportunity to showcase my healthcare industry among the management institute all those now what happens nowadays the youngsters they are so much career oriented and aspirated means so they want a fast uh, okay, they I thought that in pharma they, they know only in pharma like medical representative but what is behind the medical representative where these things are not been elaborated or not been explained Whereas you have seen in IT people, okay, IT people, there are a lot of scopes of those things. When you are going for a particular career, you are seeing something on basis of that, you are going. But here, once you will understand what the industry size is and what are the opportunities, then you can go for it. So it's awareness level. The more awareness level will be there. So yeah. as per you told that market value is 68.4 in 2011 and as per to you told that it can be 2000 58.2 billion. And as per ITC, I think this all, uh, what is the market value of ITC and all uh, banking into, if it is low, then uh, this share value it is high, then healthcare. It is more, value wise, it is more, IT segment is more than, but not more right than, now. not more than healthcare. Not more than healthcare means at par or it is little bit more than, uh, some certain, some billions will be there, IT segment is more, okay. But thing is that IT segment depends again on US market. So once there is a down means here the entire impact comes. So that's all there is no consistency. Yeah. So we have growth in yeah. here you, you will get a consistency growth. No, so consistency you, so you told that uh, after you entered in the class you told that uh, why you all don't try to take in healthcare industry. Right. That's what. Sir, I want to that if if we join healthcare industry, uh, then growth will be there after Definitely. huge growth prospects are there. Multiple means all that's what the reason why I said that all the people today who are in a higher level they start career from the ground level. So from basic medical representatives they have to start. So that's why the growth uh, part is there. So what is the role what of the what will be our operations after completion or in the healthcare industry? Okay. Now uh, if you are joining plain pharmaceutical company, then you can start in a product. If you are interested in sales. Then you can start with a medical representative. Medical representative. Yeah, medical representative. Sir, what is the uh, what is the role of that medical representative in the company? Okay. They are the representative of the company. I Means so they are the brand ambassador of the company. Okay. Now the way they are presenting the company to the customer because it's an indirect sale, not a direct sale. Okay. So the way they promote their product, the presentation of the product. Okay. And that is the role of basic medical representative and to check the inventory, whether after uh, generating the prescription, this prescription should not be bounced. Bounced means uh, it goes to a retail shop and retail doesn't have the stock. Then this patient comes back to doctor, so give me an alternative, it is not available. So that process is called prescription bounce. So he has to ensure that his prescription should not bounce. So he has to check the inventory. So that is his role. The product generating prescriptions promo by promoting ethically products to the competent person like qualified doctors and by uh, checking inventory and availability of the products. So what is the full name or in the? Tarun Adhikari. Tarun Adhikari. Tarun Adhikari. Sir, one last question for you. Sir, do you think uh, after the five years of time is down the line, 
this pharmaceutical industry would be one of the fast growing industry according to the competitive of IT and FMCG and all this and as you're talking about the market value and the USG by 2014. Okay. So we, we would like to see that uh, one of the fastest growing the industry will be pharmaceutical and it turns five years or ten years down the line. See, it is, pharmaceutical industry is not the fastest growing. The fastest growing uh, thing is related to technology. Okay, now technology like IIT, mobile, yeah, all these things are the also. Okay, no. But with the fastest, there is a peak center. There is a downfall, there is a so peak curves will be there. But in pharma industry, since 1970, the curve which I have shown till the day, there is no peak center of uh, trust in pharmaceutical. Either, either MNCs has uh, mind up their business, but in that place, Indian companies have taken up. So, no way, pharmaceutical industry has never been compounded. It is already in double digit growth. So can I uh, ask that uh, in a uh, uh, healthcare industry which you are talking about, so if I want to ask that you are, uh, about hotel industry, uh, we have life in that, in hotel industries. Hotel industry is also growing like anything, but so nowadays what happens? Because of the industry is growing, even like pharma industry is growing, the number of companies are coming, in other segments also coming, even in Kolkata. Uh, we don't have that much of hotel to accommodate in big conferences where uh, 6,000 people are coming. We have to depend on Science City or ITC. We don't have that kind of hotel. So hotels are coming. Means the corporate, the more the corporate uh, companies and MNCs are coming in, uh, this culture is growing up. Even the industry is growing. According to from, from your point of view, which uh, company should I offer? Or for healthcare, or for hotel industries, or for ITC banking? Okay. It depends upon what what uh, you are inclined to. What is your yeah. basic qualification, and what is your liking, dislike? Yeah. Okay, sir.